I was putting myself through these variety of movements, these different strength routines and stuff like that, that um, I could probably get away with more from just kind of living life. Whereas now, you know, you could become an adult and you have all these other things you got to do outside of the sport you're doing. Like surviving. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then it's like all the time goes towards the activity of interest versus um, having that kind of uh, that, that framework of variety there that's just going to kind of keep those things in place more or less. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it reminds me of a, a question. So now that I've gone from, you know, elite athlete, broke my back, and with your help, once I was able to understand what, what I need to do to become pain-free, I had my eyes set towards running an ultra. And, and I remember you were the first person I reached out to for help in learning how to do that. I was grossly underqualified <laughs> for how to go run 50 miles. I knew how to rehab somebody's pain, but I did not know how to go run 50 miles. And, and that, that process was so enlightening for me. And me now sharing that I'm running and I'm capable of doing these amazing feats of endurance and, and accomplishments with my body, people will reach out to me and the question they ask, you know, is, hey, how do I go train for a marathon? How do I go mm -hmm. get ready for an ultra? And my question, because I don't, I don't have the answer for them. I know what I did. You're a guy who has an answer for that. But my question back to them is always, well, how many do you want to do? Do you just want to do one? Because yeah. if you only want to do one, I could probably just tell you brute strength, this is how we're going to do it. But if you're somebody who wants to do it again and again, if you want this to be your life, we have to be able to take a step back and understand a well-rounded approach is going to get you to do that. And if you're injured, if the same thing's showing up, it's it's a really great sign that we got to take a step back and be, look at, at becoming a little bit more well-rounded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this, this topic just in general has gotten more and more interesting to me because the last few years I've done some episodes on this and technically you fit this mold to some degree. It's like the hybrid athlete mm -hmm. where the sport of ultra running, when I got into it, it was sort of like a destination for people that had had a running background.